and I just know that everybody help you had a wonderful Halloween and had a wonderful day of course even with the with the daylight savings time that occurred overnight or we'll fall backwards. Um, I know a lot of you are thinking wish the time would stay like it is and I agree with you on it but it's just the way it is obviously. And of course we're in November now which there's a lot of stuff going on such as election day that's going to be this Tuesday going for the next president and all that and, you know all the above um, there's also freeze warnings in effect for a pretty good chunk of Alabama and that means if you have any if you have any plants or anything like that that's sensitive to the freeze of raising temperatures and all that you know could that could be killed during freezing temps. Be sure you cover them up or bring them inside right now and all the above. Now, so far that I'm aware of, we do not have any severe weather coming up in the future soon at this point. For now, it's, it's November starts our fall severe weather slash tornado season but for right now we, that as far as I know we do not have any severe weather coming up soon so far that could change but if that were to change you know I'll let you know as soon as possible and I would do want to remind you if you do when you do vote Put God first before the before before the election. Pray about it, think about it, and all the above. I mean, don't just say you're just going to vote for this person and go. Don't do that. Pray about it first. Pray about it and think about it. Because there's one that's running. For president that's for abortion and just about it and basically everything that's against that's against that's against God. There's one that's that's pro life and is for um, is for the Lord or uh, I mean uh, that is not against what the Lord of what the what the Bible says. So remember that and pray about it before you vote Tuesday. I'm not going to ask you who you're voting for, and, and for those that have known me for a long time, a lot of times I sometimes I would tell who I'm voting for, but I'm not going to now. Especially with all the violence and all that's occurred. It's just, um, for those that plan on asking me who I'm voting for, that question will no longer be answered anymore. And I don't care if I offend anybody saying that. I don't care if I offend anybody saying that. The person that I'm voting for is my business, and it's the Lord's business. It's nobody else's business. So, remember that. Y'all have a wonderful day and be safe and stay warm. And again, I'll say it till this virus is over. If you do not have to go anywhere that is essential, stay home. And if you do have to go somewhere essential, be sure you have this mask on. Make sure you sign. Hands, use hand sanitizer every day and night and keep everything clean sanitized all the above and do the social distancing so just staying six feet away from each other and if you are sick go to the hospital don't let, don't let this virus keep you from going to the hospital if you're sick 
please don't do that and you're risking your life and other people's lives. So please keep that in mind. Otherwise, if you don't have to go anywhere essential, stay home. Just remember that I'll keep saying that till this virus is over or till I pass, till I pass from this life. Y'all have a wonderful day and be safe and God bless.